Greetings, it's Christine the Arctic Spider. I am back with a really interesting video. It is a tag video. It is the Goth Industrial Nightclub tag. The tag was made by Orphea333 and Amy Necrotic. I was tagged by Amy. I'm subscribed to both of them. And I think both make really interesting content. So, so I'm really honored that one of them tagged me to do this tag. Uh, there are two things I need to mention before I start diving into the questions. Uh, the first thing is that I'm currently living home with no goth club or any club. And the second thing is that I haven't really been to a goth goth club, but I have been into a club where alternative people gather and mostly my clubbing has been done between 2015 and 2017 because I moved home late 2017 early 2018 so somewhere around there so yeah so let's uh, dive into the questions I will put the questions in the description box and I will also link to Orpheus and Amy's video in the description box so you can watch, watch them if you want to. Okay, first question. What is one song that you will always dance to? I do not have any song, but I like dancing to music with four, four beat, four, four beat. And that means music like EBM and uh, a little bit dark wave and so on. I like uh, dancing to electronic music mostly. Okay, second question. What is your all-time favorite club outfit? I dress goth to clubs, even if the club might not be um, labeled as goth. I dress up with a black dress, which is around knee height, and it covers all my arms. And then I combine it with a underbust corset. The third question is, what are your favorite shoes to dance in at the club? Uh, it's mostly flats, but it's more like a practical reason for that. I wear flats because the club where I used to go, uh, it's a little bit far from the bus station to the place I used to live. So there's walking and I don't have any car so or license. So the distance is usually quite long. It takes maybe five minutes or more to walk. And... Norway is usually really cold and the winter starts from late October and ends late April or so on. So there's usually lots of snow and ice. The town that I used to live in is known for slippery roads. So with flats I could walk safely home and use spikes underneath my shoes so I will put spikes into my jacket pocket and uh, then I could have easily put them on and walk safely home or to the bus station and also uh, from the bus station to my apartment so <sighs> it was usually flats but mostly for practical reasons okay Fourth question, what is your favorite drink to have when you're at the club? For me, it's water because I am a straight edge. Also, because I dance a lot, I usually get red in the face. So water helps with that. <laughs> Fifth question, who is your favorite club DJ? I do not have any. The reason for this is because in Norway, DJing is not something serious unless you're aiming to be big. So mostly the DJs that DJ at the clubs that I went to, they are just hobby DJs. They don't make any 
regular nights. So I didn't see the reason to note them down. So I don't have any mostly because of it's not it's mostly useless to write them down. Usually they don't come back. So yeah. Okay, sixth question. When you go to the club, are you there more for the music and dancing or to hang out? I am mostly for music and dancing. Uh, I don't like hanging out at the club because it's so difficult. Uh, the music is loud. I cannot hear what the other person is saying and I have to shout. And I don't like shouting. So when I meet somebody interesting, I will give them my number or something and then we could have a conversation somewhere else maybe we could have a cup of tea or whatever the person prefers so yeah i i ask people to meet me after the club or something like that if they are in if they are really interested but usually the club in norway is you meant for only hooking up unless you're there for the music and the dancing and i'm not interested in that Okay, seventh question. What was your first goth industrial club experience like and did you have fun that night? Like I said, I haven't really been to a official goth or industrial club, so I don't know. But I can imagine how it could end up. I think I will do really fine because I'm an extrovert. I don't have problem going to uh, places with lots of people. I will probably be okay just dance and have fun like i have experience with other clubs so i don't think i will have an issue with blending in okay eighth question has anything embarrassing ever happened to you at the club yes but it was a fight i was really embarrassed because of my friend so my friend is really naive, she hasn't been at the club, and she wanted to, and asked me to go, and we went on Halloween. So there's just one guy, and he is standing alone, and my friend pities him, and goes to him and starts talking, and that's not something wise for a newbie, because you don't know uh, what this person could be. And he was a creep. And this happened also in a normal club. So lots of weirdos come to those nights. <laughs> so yeah. And what happened is that the clock is around 2 a.m. And it's only 30 minutes until the bus uh, comes. And there's lines everywhere. So we had to get our jackets and so on. And what happens is that he wants her to stay and I want to leave. But luckily I win, and so people are seeing us arguing, and it's really embarrassing. But I scolded her afterwards that you don't go talking to a random stranger that you don't even know in a normie club. That can be really dangerous. Okay, ninth question. If you, ca if you could have your own theme night at the club, what would it be? It would be a 90s uh, glitchy pixel game and the music would mostly be, be um, rhythmic noise and so on so yeah I want it to be really um, fu not futuristic but old school maybe <laughs> so yeah I really like such theme a glitchy theme okay tenth question what is one piece of advice you can give to anyone to run to anyone that wants to attend a goth industrial club for the first time since i haven't really been to a goth goth club i can just say that maybe the best thing you could do is to just relax and have fun because mostly goth clubs I think are just like regular clubs, but only with goth people and goth music. So if you have been to um, clubs before, I don't think there would be so much of a difference. But if you haven't, then just relax and take things slow if you really have to, or if you 
can. So have one, I think, would be the best advice I can give. But what can I really give, since I haven't really been to a official golf club? Oh, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, now it is my time to tag people. Um, I have decided to only tag two people. Two people that I am um, subscribed to and find really interesting and their content is good, nice too. I'm going to tag Akumotis. I'm really interested to know what you think and your experiences. And the second person that I want to tag is Cindy K. Hole. I, I'm subscribed to her too. And I think her answers will be really interesting to hear. Yeah. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.